career from Chubbyville High School. And uh, we had an opportunity to start this program at the high school. We were then able to get the funding together to actually purchase the cart. Uh, and then the students had to go through and put the cart together. So this is our very first opportunity to be out and uh, test the cart and find out what we know and what we need to learn as we go. We have a variety of skill sets that have joined us. Jocelyn Jurison is our crew chief and she's been with me the longest. Uh, we kind of rely on Jocelyn here to kind of kind of guide us through as we gotcha. go. Our driver, Logan Prickett, he has some karting experience in the past from things that he did with his family. So he's able to give us feedback about, oh, wait a minute, this doesn't feel right or this is pretty good. But let's uh, make a little change to the cart to make it a little better. So far, it's been good. We were able to get through inspection, just a couple little minor things they wanted us to uh, kind of take a look at and correct before we went out on the track. Everything's holding together fine right. and he put in some pretty good laps. We're now putting our data acquisition information on here. Uh, the folks up there at the inspection area have given us this unit to use today. Uh, we didn't have this available to us before. So right now they're just plugging a battery charger in. So Allison's have reached out to us. Uh, the folks from Purdue have reached out to us, welcomed us, and you know made us ease the tension. You know, make it make it so it's, it's not so stressful right. today. Right. Working well together, uh, they've all got a different uh, thought about how we should do something, and so we're listening to everybody mm -hmm. and letting everybody have input on what they think we should do and how we should do it. I've done all of Corey's classes, all of high school. He's been one of my favorite teachers. But I tried to stay involved with the engineering part, and when go kart club came up, I figured I'd try it. I had no background with go karting, mm. honestly. This so this is, is totally new to you. 100% new. Everybody just kind of helps, yeah. so it's easier to figure out what you need to do and the time you need to do it, yeah. and instead of having to learn it all on your own outside, and it just be super complicated. So I'm the computer analytics and crew chief and stuff. So I've got computer and all kinds of stuff. We've got tire specialists, we have the driver, obviously, and then there's a bunch of other jobs we've got. People work on tightening screws and all kinds of stuff and just making sure everything's working. Personally, I want to go into the career of aerospace engineering and mechanical engineering and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I figured a car club would be a good place to start with that, at least. With the cart, obviously we have our two car batteries on each side that power the whole cart. Depending on how big the track is, how fast we want to go, or like we have at Purdue here in a couple of weeks, it's an endurance race. So we're at the time our, how would we say, our power correctly and try to take us to the win at whatever cost it may be. Mm -hmm. So batteries, motor power, just another chain like your regular cart. Uh, and then here's our electric circuits here, setting your volts and amps and getting the power you want to be successful. I think we got a perfect set of ratio to people nice. to cart. You know, if we have 20 people, there's only five people that can really do something. Yeah. So four working on the car, each tire maybe, and two others getting tools and setting yeah. out the computer or whatnot for the battery. Yeah. I mean, I think we got a really good team. I work for a tire, tire specialist, which is just measuring the temperature of the tire and adjusting the pressure accordingly. Perfect. To make sure that not only the balance, but that if we want to make a rearward or frontward bias yeah. of grip, we can do that, as well as adjusting for track conditions just to make sure that the cart handles well. If you have a fast cart and doesn't handle well, it's not really gonna set good lap times. For this run, we have upped the battery amperages a little bit. Okay. However, they're not fully charged, so we'll see what that will do well. So there's already a computer control unit on there that we hook up the computer to. However, that's only after the race. This is kind of like a during race, so like immediately afterwards, you don't have to hook up the computer to it, even though we still will. Yeah. But um, it gives kind of like live uh, amperage feed rates to the battery. You can't really see it when you're driving, but while we do have it, we can look at uh, what our battery's doing. Since I was a kid, I've always been interested in cars and even motorsports and doesn't matter what type, everything. Obviously, new era, I mean, electric cars and stuff are coming out and I've always been interested in small motors, stuff like this. Mm -hmm. This, I mean, it's not, you know, a 200cc motor, it's an electric motor. Mm -hmm. So kind of equivalent, but it's, it's interesting, it's new. It does base off electric motors, which I do like because I'm trying to get in, introduced to like electrical engineering and stuff like that because everything I've done is just mechanical and uh, 3D stuff like that. Yeah. So I think it'll be interesting to see how a performance vehicle and how the uh, whole electrical system applies to that and then take that and apply it to anything else.
a 33.5 zero. The fastest time so far today. That track must be getting faster.